Hey everyone, welcome to Old Man Gaming. Remember, if you enjoyed today's stream, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Hello everybody, welcome back to Old Man Gaming. My name is Rob and here we are back in Ark Survival Ascended with my 30 series, the series where we ask the question realistically just how far can a single player get if he was to play 30 minutes a day on a solo PvP official server. Now, um... Full disclosure, I actually didn't play yesterday, so it's been two days since I last played. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm behind it's schedule for a day. Right. I... So, for a detonator, we need... 15 cementing paste, 10 crystal, 50 electronics for a detonator, 50 electronics, that is going to be the worst thing I think, 50 electronics, and then, for the ammo itself, 5 electronics, oh, okay, it looks like it's come to that time, where we are going to need uh, pearls <laughs> unfortunately so we're going to need lots of pearls right okay What to do, what to do about that. About getting pearls. To make C4. Because it is a bit of a ball lake. Now. I've got my little generator here still here luckily Chances are I am going to need 
some food. But I don't think we're going... After I really do have to uh, make some, get some bloody uh, preserving bins going and get some food going because I can't do this every stream. All oh, that reminds me, didn't I attempt to tame something? I wonder if it tamed or not. Attempted to tame a mochops by getting one of its young, so we might have to check that out. Yeah, I need to make some. Yeah, I definitely need to make some uh, bridges to get some meat because I can't keep waiting for the meat to cook. I'm losing valuable time. Yeah. Even if it's just to get it on me. Now let's have a look at the map. Let's fix the settings first. And then have a look at the map. So we've got a couple of options with pearls, but they're, they're all up to the end, up the other end of the map, a long way away. <laughs> so we might be having to find somewhere to sleep tonight, and at the same time finding somewhere safe for me to put the pterodon because if I put him in the cryopod I won't be able to take him out not in there then it's not in there with the pterodon having limited stamina actually, I've improved its stamina quite a bit actually so we might be able to just play it safe though. Keep an eye on it. We don't want to... What have we got here? Lots of dinosaur gates. A 
to see how active everything is. Okay, the school. Is it all the school? No, BD. Okay. Bunch of vaults. Are they locked? Well, this one's nearly. This one looks like. Oh no! What have we got here? Alpha ascension implant. Water jar. Primitive shovel. Oh, someone's been raided. Check the green orb. See if anybody's actually built up around the green orb at all, or if it's free to use. Because I haven't checked the obelisks at all. I don't know if people have, like, built up on them to stop people from using them. Because there is another option. Looks like there are cryo fridges down there. I don't see any guns. Hmm. Okay. So if I wanted to move to Scorched Earth, it wouldn't be hard. halfway point. Now we have been here. You'll recognise this area is where I think we... Uh, or was it over there? It was over there, wasn't it? Where we had our bases originally. That got raided. Now, as you can see, it is cold. And this is going to be the issue for me, I think, temperature. I don't have any facility to go under to the bottom of the ocean to get pearls, so I have to get the, you know, shallow, 
shallow pearls. And this is where I'm going to struggle, basically, because they're in the freezing cold area. Got to keep an eye on that bloody stamina. I don't have any fur. Fortitude have only been at 30. I should have really should be pumping up a bit. Hot is better than cold. Right. Let's have a quick look. We're going to be freezing now. It's a lot further up than I thought it was. I don't think it was this far up. Let's just fingers crossed. There's nothing here. It wants to attack me. Struggling to see any pearls. Let me have a quick look from above, see if I can spot them. be loads in here. Six. Man, we're going to need a ton of them. They're just not in here anymore. Have they taken them out?
shit. Neutralize. Had to come close, didn't it? Damn it. Well, this hasn't worked. Only six. Ocean side. Pearls used to be a lot easier to see from above. I mean, if you turn off uh, even have the water reflection <laughs> um, I used to have water reflection on there but I don't have it anymore oh well uh, pig flying over That's not going to help me, is it? I said there used to be loads of pearls in this area. But, mm, all I found is six. This is not working out. I do know where I can get quite a few, but does involve travelling to Scorched Earth. And I'm not sure if we're ready for that. Considering how dangerous Scorched Earth is. But there used to be low used to be able to find a load of pearls in this area here. My health is not good. Uh, Five minutes and all I got was six pearls.
I mean, the other way of getting pearls, I guess, is raiding uh, beaver dams. Holy shit. Whoa. Right, we need to go higher. <laughs> higher, baby. That was a gun in the base there. Oh no, don't. Oh, don't. Come on. Don't do this to me. Oh, here we go. This is why you have a parachute. again why did I fucking wear a parachute do that. Oh wow. Learn something new every day. Okay. I never knew you could do that. I wish I'd known about that. somewhere to put ourselves that is safe kidding me what the hell happened there it doesn't even show us a death There's no point. There's no point. <laughs> There's no point. I might as well just stay dead. I've lost all that stuff, including my cryopod. Through no fault of my own. That was obviously some sort of glitch. Oh, fuck's sake. Maybe I should just give up on this series because it's not working for me. Stuff like that happens. Uh, I mean, it's just... What's the point? 
All right, well, thank you for watching. I'm going to make a decision on whether or not I want to keep doing this because, I mean, it's, it's really hard as it is to do what I'm doing. And then to have something like that happen, which is through no fault of my own, I didn't do anything wrong then. I just suddenly, I reckon it, it glitched. It, it did some sort of probably mesh. I mean, let's just spawn at the simple bed and let's see what the log says. Anti-meshing destroyed me. Anti-meshing destroyed my pterodon. Anti-meshing. I didn't do anything, man. I can't. I mean, come on, what am I supposed to do, you know? What the hell am I supposed to be doing? That's a f point. Unbelievable. I'm really, like, I'm, I'm really now, I really seriously am questioning, like, should I even be bothering with this series now? Because I, as much as I've enjoyed the challenge, when that happens, that... I didn't do anything wrong there, and, it, you know, how far is that? I've got no... Now I've got no... Uh, you know... think about it over the next 24 hours whether or not I want to can try and continue this but thank you for watching until next time everyone I will see you later bye bye